Hey studio owners, I'm going to show you how you can get from this stack of fat quarters to this tote bag with multiple size strips with one strip die. Stay tuned! And today's video is a very special surprise for AccuQuilt studio owners. I'm really pleased to introduce to you a brand new die that I'm making available to anyone who would like to purchase this through the AccuQuilt custom die department. Now many of you may know that I use Bonnie Hunter's method of storing scraps which is to um, cut down scraps into um, common strip sizes, squares, and bricks. Now one of the things that I also do is I'm an avid collector of fat quarters and when I'm cutting things down I really like to cut the same size strip more than once. I like to get a lot of variety in my scraps and sometimes that can't really be um, facilitated by using a, a traditional strip cutter. So what I'm going to show you today is a strip cutter that I've designed that will enable you to cut different size uh, strips efficiently from a fat quarter or from other um, uh, widths of fabric. So here's the new strip cutter. I'll just hold that up for everyone to see. And the really great thing about this strip cutter is that I've um, organized it so that if you were to cut a fat quarter um, using this die, you would get three strips that are one and a half inches wide, three strips that are two inches wide, and three strips that are two and a half inches wide. However, none of the strips that are the same size are right next to each other. So that enables you to use different width strips or other types of cuttings such as half yards or full yards and still get the variety of strips that you would like to see. Along the outside edge is a one and a half inch strip followed by a two inch strip, a two and a half inch strip, the two inch strip, an inch and a half, and then on the outside the two and a half inch strip. So as you um, handle scraps in particular, if you have scraps that are different widths, you can adjust those scraps um, along the die and still get um, really good coverage. So you can have strips that vary from three and a half inches um, or four inches up to 12 inches and you can place them on the die so that they're cut really efficiently. So I just want to show you a couple of uh, see this die in action and actually this is the first time I'm cutting with this die so I'm really excited to see what happens. As usual I have marked the lines of the die and I've also snapped straight lines just inside the edges of the blade on both ends so that I can align a straight edge of my fat quarter. So to cut a fat quarter, fat quarters are typically 21 to 22 inches long by about 18 inches wide. Now for the most efficient cutting of this die, you do need to have fat quarters or half yards that are truly half yards or fat quarters, which means that you need to have 18 inches of width in order for this to cut effectively. So by folding your um, fabric like so, I'll just sh um, show this to you here. So if you can see this on my die, I know this is huge and it's heavy. So if you can see this on my die, this is my 18 inch wide fat quarter. So I have the, um, the main width of it going from the two and a half inch strip down to the inch and a half strip on the other side and then folding the, um, the extra flap back toward the other side of the die. And so this is, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the line for the two inch strip and this is the extra. So you can really see that you have an opportunity here to square up this die or square up the fabric and still be able to cut efficient strips. So here's my, um, my next layer. And so when you do this, um, you don't want to run more than five fat quarters um, through, um, through this because of the fold on the other side. So if you're working with five fat quarters and you have that fold, that's going to give you ten layers of fabric on that side. So that's just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to run this through the cutter. So I'm going to step off camera, 
for a second and you'll see this uh, kind of coming through on the other side. So I'm cranking this through. Whoopee! <laughs> this is just really exciting for me. Alright, so you can see from all of that cutting that I was able to get really efficient use of that strip cutter and get all of these wonderfully different size strips from one strip cutter. If you're interested in having a strip cutter like this, it's not available via the AccuQuilt website, but you can contact the custom dye department. And this is a design that's my own that I am releasing to the public. So if you're a studio owner and you'd like to purchase this dye, just call the custom dye department at 888-525 2017 and ask for Joni. And the die that you want is Lovebug Studios Strip Cutter Die number 1400182. I'll also put this information on my website so you can have it handy. I really hope that you enjoy this new strip cutter and I'm going to have a lot of fun. Happy quilting! <laughs>